rise up and start fresh. See the bright opportunity in every new day. Every day may not be good, but there is something good in each day. A very calm welcome to our honorable MD so respected teachers and my dear friends. Today we the students of class 7th B have got a golden opportunity to present our annual function on the topic Union and States of India. Prayer is a wonderful way to communicate with God. Let us begin our day with Teri Hazami. <laughs> Banking, etc. 
Right now, there are 61 subjects in the state list. This list includes subjects such as health, agriculture, local government, drinking water facilities, sanitation, etc. There are 52 subjects in the Cochrane list, which includes subjects such as education, electricity, labor welfare, criminal law and procedure, civil, pro civil procedure, family planning, drugs, and many more. Article 245 empowers the center to give direction to the states in certain cases in regards to the exercise of their executive power. Article 249 empowers the parliament to legislate with respect to a matter in the state list in the national interest. Under Article 250, the government is empowered to make decisions related to the state matters when national emergency is in operation. Under Article 2. The government is, em is empowered to legislate two or more states by their consent. Article 256 to 263 deals with the administrative relations between the center and the states. Article 256 states that the executive power of every state shall be so exercised as to ensure the compliance with the laws made by the parliament and any existing laws which apply in that state. And the union of the states shall extend to giving of such directions as may appear to the government of India to be necessary for that purpose. Cooperation between the centre and the states. The constitution lays down various provisions to secure cooperation and coordination between the centre and the states. These include full faith and credit shall be given throughout the territory of India to public acts, records and judicial proceedings of the union and of every state. The Parliament may by the law provide for the adjudication of any dispute or complaint with, with respect to the use or distribution of control of water of any interstate river or river valley. Article 263 empowers the President to establish an interstate council to inquire into and advise upon disputes between states, to investigate and discuss subjects in which some or all of the states, or the union and one, or more of the states, have a common interest. The parliament may by law appoint such authority as it considers appropriate for carrying out the purposes of constitutional provisions related to the interstate freedom of trade and commerce. During a national emergency under Article 352, the state government becomes coordinated to the central government. All the executive functions of the state come under the control of the union government. During a state emergency, under Article 356, the President can assume to himself all or any of the functions of the government of the state and all or any of the powers which are not exercised by the governor or authority in the state other than the legislature of the state. During the operation of financial emergency, under Article 360, the Union may give directions to any state to observe such canons of financial property as may be specified in the directions. The Constitution deals with the center state financial relation in Article 268 to 293 of Part 12. The Constitution has provided the union government and state government with the independent sources of revenue. It allocates the powers to center and the states. The Parliament has exclusive power to levy taxes on the subject mentioned in the union list. The state legislature has exclusive power to levy taxes on the subject mentioned in the state list. Both the Parliament and the state legislature have the power to levy taxes on the subjects mentioned in the concurrent list. Establishment of an inter-state under Article 263, number 1. Decentralization of power to the state as much as possible. Number 2. More of transport of financial resources to the state. Number three, arrangement for devolution in such a way that the state can fulfill their obligation. The Indian constitution aims at reconciling the national unity while giving the power to maintain state to the state governments. It is true that the union has been assigned larger powers than the state government, but this a question of degree and not quality since all the essential features of a federation are present in the Indian constitution. It is often defined to be quasi-federal in nature. Thus, it can be safely said that Indian constitution is primarily federal in nature. Even though it has unique features that enable it to assume mutatory features upon the time of need. Federal, but its spirit is unitary. Good morning, everyone. We are about to embark on a journey 
filled with memorable characters, amicable discussions and moments that will leave you in stitches. Now, some students of our class are coming for skit. Charu's friend is worried as she is not able to understand her homework. So she visits her. Charu is sitting with her family members and telling how was her day. Hi Chetna, what happened? Why are you looking so worried? <coughs> Hi, actually today Bell has given the homework to get information about the states of India. But I am not able to understand about states and their qualities. I don't even know the name of all the states. Don't worry, my brother will explain you. India is a federal union combining, combining 28 states and 8 different territories with a total number of 30 countries. On the last and small, each state and beauty of India has a unique demography, history and culture, festivals, languages, etc. <coughs> Let's embark on the wonderful journey of these states and territories. My self Ladakh, like often dubbed as the land of high passes. I am a captivating Indian Union territory known for my dramatic landscapes and cultural diversity. My traditional food is momos and sampa and my traditional dress is gonsa. I have one seat in the Lok Sabha. My self Jammu Kashmir. I am known as the Switzerland of India. I am in New Union territory of India. My capital is Srinagar. Srinagar served me as the summer capital and Jammu served me as the winter capital. I am Punjab. My capital is Chandigarh, which is also the capital of Haryana. Agriculture is major industry of Punjab. Wheat and rice are major crops of Punjab. Punjab is popular for Golden Temple in Amritsar and Jallianwala Park. Punjab famous food is Sarsoda Saag Makki Di Roti. Punjab is known as Five Finger Queen. I am Chandigarh. I am Union Territory, an older shelf land city of India. I am I am capital of territory in states of Haryana and Punjab. I am known for my architecture and urban design. I am Delhi. I am in Union Territory as well as the capital of India. I am famous for my mouth watering chart and I am also the home of many monuments such as Kutub Minar and Red Fort. I am the head of the Houses of India hosting the Rashtrapati Bhavan, Sansad Bhavan and Supreme Court. I am Rajasthan. My capital is Jaipur and it is also known as the Pink City. My most popular food item is called Dal Bati Churma and my ancient name was the uh, Rajputana. I have 25 seats of Lok Sabha. I am Gujarat. I am one of the most progressive states in India. I have 33 districts. My capital is Gandhinagar. In me, people like to eat Jalebi Fahura. Also, I am the state of Gandhiji. Garba is my culture now. From my state, 26 members are elected in the Member of Parliament in Lok Sabha. I am Dada Nagar Valley. I am a union territory. It was formed on 11th August 1961. My capital is Silvasa, my famous land home is Bavara. Myself, Maharashtra, the wealthiest state of India. I rank second in India in terms of population. My capital is Mumbai. Myself, Goa. I am the smallest state of India. My capital is Panji and I am famous for the beaches and places of worship. My famous food is fish curry and I have two seats of Lok Sabha. Myself, Karnataka. I am a state situated in southwest India with Arabian Sea coastlines. My capital is Bengaluru, which is known as the tech hub of India. I have 28 states in Lok Sabha. Hampi, the capital of ancient Vijayanagar's empire, contains elements of temples and stone statues. I am Kerala. Kerala is a state on the south and western side of India. My capital is Thiruvandarapuram. My language is, my language is Malayalam. My popular food is rice and fish and I have 20 seats in Lok Sabha. Myself Tamil Nadu, a state in southern India. Tamil is the official language of my state. My capital is Chennai. I am famous for festival, temple, celebration of art. From my state, 39 members are elected as the member of parliament in Lok Sabha. I am Puducherry. My capital name is Pondicherry. My most famous food is Medu Vada and my official language is Tamil. I am Andhra Pradesh. My capital is Amravati. I am in the southeast coastal region of India. I am one of the leading rice growing state in India. My famous food is Hyderabadi Biryani and I have 25 seats in the Lok Sabha. I am Odisha. My capital is Bhubaneswar. Pulao Pulao is the most famous dishes of Odisha. The Manadi River is the largest river of Odisha and sixth largest river in India. And I have 21 seats in Lok Sabha. Myself, 
West Bengal. I am famous for the sweets and the Durga Puja festival. My capital is Kolkata. My specialty is the Royal Bengal Tiger. And I have 42 member representative from my state. I am a Samaya no for second I am home to one haunted dinosaurus with wild water buffalo. My capital is this four from my state. Fourteen members are elected as the member of parliament in the Lok Sabha. I am Meghalaya. My capital is Shillong. I was found on 21st Jan 1972. I am also known as the Adobe of Cloud because I received the highest rainfalls in India. I am Tripura. My capital is Agartala. My unique name is highly terrain and triple populist. My most popular dish is Manipuru. I am Manipur. Manipur means land of gems. Its economic centers are agriculture and forestry, and trade and cottage industries are also important. My capital is Impal, located in the center of the state. Myself, Mizoram. I am known for my evergreen hills and dense bamboo jungles. I lies in the southernmost strip of northeast India called the land of Blue Mountain, and my capital is as well. I am Nagaland. I am also known for a land of festival, and my capital is Kohima. I am Arunachal Pradesh. My capital is Itanagar. I am the largest north eastern state of India and over 80% of Arunachal Pradesh is covered with thick evergreen forest. Myself Sikkim. I am a hilly state of north eastern India. I was established on 16th May 1975. I have Kanchanjunga, which is the third highest mountain in the world. My capital is Gangtok. My famous food item is Dal Bhat. I am one of the most beautiful states in India. I am Uttarakhand. My capital is Dharadun. I am often referred to as the Devbhumi land of gold. I am known for the natural environment of Himalaya. I am located at the foothills of Himalayan mountain range. Myself Himachal Pradesh, a state in the northern part of India. My capital is Shimla in summer and winter capital is Dharamshala. I have four seats in Lok Sabha. I am Tilangana. My capital is Hyderabad. This is my largest city. Telugu is my official language and my official food is Pachi Pulusu. I have many popular places like Chamiran Mosque, Nagarjun Sagadam, etc. From my state, 17 members are elected as the member of parliament in Lok Sabha. Myself Chhattisgarh, one of the fastest developing states in India. My capital is Raipur. I have 11 seats in the Lok Sabha. Myself Jharkhand. I am located in the eastern India. My capital is Ranchi. Jharkhand is made up of two words. Jhard is forest. Khan, this is land, so it is known as land of forest. Myself Bihar. My capital is Patna. I am famous for my Asian universities such as Nalanda and Vikramshila. My iconic dishes are Dal, Pitha and Lati Choka. I have 40 seats in Lok Sabha. I am Uttar Pradesh. I am in northern India, my capital is Lucknow and my largest city is Kanpur. And from my state, maximum 80 members are elected as the member of parliament in Lok Sabha. Myself, Madhya Pradesh, my capital is Bhopal. I am known as Heart of India. I am famous for temples, forts, and palaces, etc. Myself, Lakshmi. Lakshmi is the smallest Indian territory of India. It consists of 36 islands. My capital is Kaveri. And it is also principle of Union Territory. I am the Andaman and Nicobar Union Territory of India. I consist of 571 islands, of which 37 are inhabited, at the junction of Bay of Bengal and the Andaman Sea. I have the tropical rainforest canopy made of the mixed flora with the elements of Indian, Myanmar, Malaysian, and the Andaman flora. Now I got to know about all the states. My all the sta my all the doubts about the states are clear. But I am having the curiosity to know how the Member of Parliament and Prime Minister are elected. Sorry, Jenna, I don't even know how Prime Ministers are elected. But we know how they are elected. Really? Then please explain it to us. As we have just seen that Rajasthan has 25 seats and Uttar Pradesh has the maximum seats in the Lok Sabha. The Prime Minister is elected by these members of the Parliament out of 545 seats in the Lok Sabha, any party who wins a majority of seats choose their leader to be the head of the government. And yes, one more thing. Article 75 of the Constitution provides that the Prime Minister shall be appointed by the President. But the President has to appoint the leader of the majority in the Lok Sabha as a Prime Minister. 
Narayan Didi, if no party gets the majority, how is the Prime Minister elected? Yes, you have asked the right question, dear. Let me tell you. When no party has a clear majority in the Lok Sabha, then the President can exercise his personal discretion in the appointment of Prime Minister. Using his ability to take people out of themselves for a few times, so here come Anna Bola for a Hindi song.
is the same as expressing your feelings without using words. So now some students of our class are going to present an amazing instrumental performance. <laughs> Oh, 
some students of our class are going to present an English poem. Smi is known to Kanya Kumari's show. India states and Indian territories are beauty to adore. Maharashtra, Punjab, Gujarat's pride in diverse landscapes are hearts recite. Rajasthan's forts stand tall and grand. In Tamil Nadu, classical dances come in. Assam's tea gardens, a picturesque sight. From uh, to Goa's beaches, a traveler's delight. Kerala's backwaters, tranquil and serene. Uttarakhand's mountains, majestic and pristine. Delhi, Bihar, a bustling city, and at the Mount's Islands, where nature is pretty. Chandigarh, a city with modern flair. In Himachal Pradesh, fresh mountain air. From Madhya Pradesh, history and untold, to West Bengal's heart, that's good. Each state, each union territory, a story to tell. Unity is diversity, where cultures dwell. India's capacity, a vibrant site. States and Union territories shining bright. Unity and unity in diversity is a unique feature of our country that binds everyone together. So now some students of our class are going to present an amazing group dance. <laughs>